What's up, YouTube? Um, so I was up late and I was watching videos on YouTube's on uh, some pedal reviews. You know, just for just for the hell of it. You know, just shopping around, seeing people's opinions on things, seeing uh, what I agree with, what I don't agree with. So I wanted to go and I wanted to make a little video of my own, just talking about um, the pedals I have. I'm talking about the pros, the cons. I'm um, doing something that people don't really talk about in uh, the cases. Um, because actually for the drummers out there that do play a lot of like big shows um you do know that sometimes you only have five minutes to tear down and set up so sometimes sometimes dealing with you know cases that require more effort are difficult you know some stuff i want to cover so these pedals are my dw 9002s that pretty much just means that they are the doubles um these are probably one of my absolute favorite, uh, my favorite pedals. Um, I've used these pedals, I got these uh, right after I graduated high school, so I've had these for about a year. Um, the very, very first show I ever played with these, it was um, Haste, Haste the Day and My Children, My Bride, I believe. Um, and I just bought these pedals. One thing about these that a lot of people don't talk about is I had such a difficult time getting used to these. I had them for about two weeks and I got so frustrated and pissed off at it. I just wanted to take them back and then just, you know, have nothing to do with them. Um, thankfully, I didn't do that. It was over the 30 day return policy. So I was kind of stuck with them. So I kind of just played around with them a little bit and one day it all just clicked and these pedals just became my almost my entire musical world for the most part um i'll go through one thing one thing that a lot of people do change out are the beaters as you can see i changed mine out for the iron cobras um i pretty much just did this because they are powerful they're very kind of they're very trustworthy and i realized that i had a beater malfunction at one show and after that, I kind of started to be a little more cautious on the kind of beaters I played. Um, then again, it's just a piece of metal and shit's going to happen. But uh, these are how I have my pedals set up. I have these set up at about a, eh, call that maybe a 30, 35 degree angle. That'll be probably five inches away from the head. Um, as you can see, it is a double is a double chain. Um, I have mine set all the way forward so I would lower my footboard down because if you keep it all the way back it does make your stroke quicker but I feel that the footboard is way too high then and it's almost you can't even play it. Um, one thing I think is pretty cool about these pedals is these are the only double pedals that have the expansion spring on the inside. Um, every other pedal has it on the outside, and I actually think this is really cool because when you walk around and you know people bang into this thing, and it's kind of good to have this you know big metal column here. For my spring tensions I have all the way up. Um, one thing I really like about these pedals is you can see that this this rotates down here with the spring up here. So you can torque these all the way up and it do, it almost doesn't even, you don't feel any resistance. And I noticed with a lot of pedals, when you torque it up, you feel so much resistance. Um, so that's one thing I love about this pedal. Um, the I just recently had to get a brand new shaft. Mine got a ha ha shaft, okay. Um, I'll show you then when I open up the case. Um, it, it kind of it wore out after a while so this is a brand new one and this has absolutely no play like I'm I'm very very surprised with this pedal that it this shaft has no play whatsoever it has a little bit of Loctite here you can see the blue um they really really like picked up their game when it came to linkage and the small things um because if you have <clears throat> if you have a linkage that the u-joints are sloppy um you'll get it won't be a nice good powerful hit with your slave pedal it'll just be kind of weaker and slower and this really does help the left pedal feel more like the right um here's the left pedal this you can take off um i leave it on because it it just makes it a little bulkier 
and it's just another piece to lose, I guess. Um, and then this, I think, is a bad design. Um, I've had these break on me a few times. This would pop off. Uh, not really that big of a deal because you could just use a normal Allen key. Um, this is just a pretty quick review on these pedals. Uh, pretty much for anybody who are thinking of these. Um, these are very, very fast pedals. They're very fluent. They're powerful at the same time. They're built very, very well. I've used these on stage in front of anything from 4 people to 4,000 people. This this thing has never let me down. I really do recommend this. This is going for a 570 right now. And a lot of people say, you know, and talk bad about these pedals, which, yeah, what are you going to do? It's on the top of the market right now. Of course, people are going to have things to say. That's just how the world works. But I think this is an amazing pedal. Um, everyone should check this out. If anyone has any questions, you know, please let me know. I'm very eager to talk about these. Um, I got to keep moving quickly because I didn't realize this was six minutes already. But here's the here's the case. Um, I've used this case a lot. You can kind of see there's some discoloring. Um, this thing really does protect your pedals. I've had everything thrown in to to this case. As you can see, this case has seen better days. Um, but it is a great molded case. Um, this is what I was talking about, the downfall of the case. You have to completely take this apart, and the pieces fit in here separately for the linkage. The only problem is, is um, here's where the U-joints go. You actually have to yank the U-joints out, which after a while, it will loosen up your U-joints. But that takes maybe that takes maybe like a year, year and a half of constant playing for it to do that. Um, this case is pretty pretty protective but it is kind of slow as you can see you have to take the beaters apart this is where the beaters go to have to take the linkage completely apart um this is kind of slow to tear down and it is kind of a pain in the ass but the case does do its job um and protect the pedals very well so great pedals case does a good job of protecting but if you're really pressed for time this is not the best case for you i suggest going with more of like a bag type of case which we're getting to now um these are my other pedals i have these are axis a long boards um these pedals not my favorite in the world um the th one of the things i don't like about these pedals are you hear a lot of people saying oh they don't hit hard they don't hit hard well, that's true, and it's not. The the variable drive lever here, um, if you push it all the way forward, it's really fast and has a light feel, and if you push it all the way back, it has a very um, heavy feel to it, and it's kind of slower. And if you push it up towards the front, you get more of a sweet spot down here. And then the farther down on the variable drive you go, the further up on the footboard the sweet spot goes. Um, that's a little thing about it. Um, this pedal... It's very lightweight. You can see how thin this is. Um, a lot of people talk about how you can scratch yourself on here. These are very sharp. Um, I play barefoot all the time. doesn't matter the season, and I haven't had an issue on it. Maybe that's just because I got lucky. Um, so, I, as you can see, I did switch out the beaters for the Iron Cobra rubber beaters just because um, they don't hit hard and they're not very loud pedals, but... I kind of combated that with these hard, with the hard beaters, and it does help, and it does really, it does make a difference, um, not as much as I would have liked, but it, it definitely does make the difference than sharing those. Um, these springs are very heavy duty springs, these are definitely thicker, and will last longer than these springs, not saying that these are necessarily better. Um, just saying that I could not see these springs on here. Um, but these are great. It's a, uh, this is just a Loctite, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I didn't upgrade these. Um, but, yeah, mine are about over three quarters of the way tight. Um, I think they feel good. That's just me, though. Um, one of the best features also about this is this, this linkage is by is the best linkage I have ever used. There is 100% no 
play at all anywhere in this linkage. Um, this is like the this is like the shaft to a car. Like this, this thing is just you know aircraft. Um, amazing quality. Um, here's the left beater. Um, or the I'm sorry, left pedal. As you can see, that's what I have mine set to about halfway. Um, the only problem I have with this pedal is you can hear. Hold on. You can hear it started to loosen up down at the bottom. That might be very common. I don't know. Um, I haven't found anyone else on YouTube with that problem. It doesn't really affect it. It doesn't affect the pedal, but it 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 is more irritating than anything. Um, you can see just how tight this pedal is. This whole thing is just one of the tightest pedals I've ever used. Nothing is sloppy anywhere. Um, nothing sloppy anywhere. Uh, you got it. You got them going good. I let them go at different times, but um, I, I these are these pedals. I see a lot of reviews saying that these, you know, if you want to play different styles of music besides blazing fast, you know, don't get these pedals. As much as I don't want to agree to that, I do kind of agree to that because um, I like to play fast, but at the same time, you know, sometimes you just like to. You just have one of those days where all you want to do is play like alternative stuff, like Nickelback and Sevenfold. Not that Sevenfold is alternative, but you get where I'm going. Um, these pedals, they're great for high speeds, but for slower speeds, like just eighth notes and stuff like that, like they actually are kind of a bitch to kind of keep up with. Um, and you found you find at that point you're almost fighting yourself. Um, no, I'm not dying. I'm talking these pedals. These pedals are awesome i would i would use these and i have used these in the studios to record my faster songs just because it, it it's just easier um and as you can see it is dir direct drive um i assume that most people would know that um this pedal is actually one of the easiest to tear down it's just loosen 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 and it's done that's it and this is what i have it in this is the case that I keep mine in. It is a pearl eliminator that I just sold today. Um, it's a pearl eliminator bag that um, I would recommend. You can't really see it, but I would recommend this more for if you're trying to tear everything down really quickly. Um, the bags are just a holder for the shaft pedals and like a little a little baggie inside that you just throw your beaters and your drum key in and you go um it literally takes you less than a minute to tear down your pedals so these are definitely sometimes better than the case um however the case does protect better but you know what are you gonna do um but before i move on to the next one my final my final comment on this pedal is my just to sum everything up about this pedal, great pedal, very, very, very well made. I'm very proud to say that I do play Axis. Um, this is, it isn't a very hard hitting pedal. It's very fast. It is harder to control at slower volumes. And although a lot of people will, will argue this pedal is made for more speed than anything, um, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of trolling comments saying, you know, eh, you suck if you can't do it, I can do it. I don't care what you can do. I'm just, this is just my opinion on it. Um, great pedals.